Hi everybody, it's Patricia Moreno, the creator of the Intense Sati Method. And as a community, we are coming together to really make this a powerful opportunity for all of us to grow, right? When we're faced with a challenge, there's always an opportunity presented. And the opportunity I'm presenting with you today is to choose, exercise your power to choose courage and confidence in this time. The world is going on behind me. I gotta get that ticket thing up. Kids are in the background having lunch, so you're gonna hear a life happening behind me as we go along our way. But I'm excited to take this time out with you and for you as a community, because I think the biggest thing that I wanna experience for myself during this time is to really live what I believe to be true is that we have the power to self-generate positive emotions regardless of our circumstances. This is what I've been teaching for a long time and there's something about when you're in the game, on the court, challenged, where you really are ready to be the captain of your soul and the master of your fate, you find in yourself some power that you haven't been exercising. And that's really the message of Intensati. Exercise your power. And what power is that? Your power to choose. Your power to self-generate positive emotions regardless of your circumstances. Because our life, as everything we see, is an extension of our beliefs. And even though we don't have control over what's going on in the world, we have control over how we see it, how we show up in the world, all of those things. And if we don't exercise that power to choose what we think, what we say, what we do, how to generate, how to activate a powerful positive emotion so that we can deal with situations, then we lose that power. Just like if you don't do push-ups, you lose the power to do the push-ups. So today, I want you to think about if I was gonna ask you to create an emotional cocktail, create an emotional cocktail for yourself that you could drink today and every day until this situation changes. If you were gonna create an emotional cocktail that was gonna help you best deal with the challenges you are facing now, what would that be? So every day, and put that in the chat box, I would love to see, I don't see any comments yet, so if I see some comments, that'd be great. So yesterday, so every day I'm going live on my Facebook page as well, my community Facebook page, and yesterday I asked the question, if you could create an emotional cocktail to be your best self in this situation, what emotional cocktail would you create for yourself? Most people said patience, courage, faith, joy, gratitude. So what would be your emotional cocktail that you would choose to make for yourself where you could say, you know what, I want to bring more patience to this. It's in order for me to be my best self in this situation, I want, to, I want to pull up, I want to turn up the dial of my patience. I want to turn up the dial. So for me, mine was infinite patience and faith infinite patience. Imagine if I had infinite patience. This could go on as long as it goes on. If I could have infinite patience and faith, I could show up to doing my kids virtual learning better. I could show up as a wife better. I could show up as a leader better. <clears throat> so today, the emotional cocktail I'm serving up for you and I'm going to invite you to generate yourself with me is courage. How would you feeling more courageous, more brave, help you deal with the situation right now? Put some answers in the chat box. I would love to hear from you. The other, the other uh, emotion or state of being that I'm going to ask you to cultivate, to self-generate is a feeling of confidence. How would you go through this day if you had more confidence? More confidence that things are gonna work out. More confidence in yourself to be able to deal with whatever life throws at you. How would that help you? The other one is gratitude. How would gratitude, hi from Barcelona. How would gratitude make this day better? So I was asking my kids yesterday, what do we want to, how do we want to make this day great? How do we want to make this day great? What do we want to bring to this day? And one of my daughters said, gratitude. You know, if we were grateful that this was happening and we were together, this would be more fun. And then the other one is faith. 
faith, the faith that we can handle this, the faith that things are going to work out, the faith that life is happening for us, for us, not to us, and, but it's also happening through us. So as we activate and self-generate these powerful positive states, we build the confidence that we can create within ourselves, regardless of our circumstances, a state of being that we can bring to our problems. Not waiting for outside to change till the inside changes. We actually cultivate and generate power of positivity so that we can bring our best self to the situation at hand. So are you ready? Can I get a yes, yes? Can I get a yes, yes? That you're ready and let's move together as a community. Because one of the things that I've committed to during this time, and we're gonna be doing it every day live on my Facebook page at 333 is to, to practice self-generating powerful positive emotions. Not talk about it, not wish it, not hope it, but to really exercise our power to self-generate positive emotions. And for me, if we get better at this during this time, this whole thing will have given us a gift. And if the gift that we can come out of this with is being able to change and, and up-level our state of being regardless of our circumstances, I believe that that's quite a gift to give to ourselves. So, who's ready? Who's ready? As I smell pizza from the other side of that door where all these kids are having their lunch. Amen to this opportunity. Yes, Jennifer Goodson. Hi, my love. So text your friends, tell them that we're live. Let's hit it. Let's get a good sweat going. Let's, let's get the cobwebs out of our mind. Let's get ourselves to drink the emotional cocktail that we wish life was serving us up, but we are going to serve up to life. How about that? Stand up nice and tall as I turn the music on. Stand up nice and tall. Bring your feet together. Stand up nice and tall. Bring your feet together. Rub your hands together. Rub your hands together. Why does this always happen every time I go live? I don't know. I have to remember. Let's do this. Okay. So if you don't know, this is the way we start every intense hati class. It becomes, it starts with the warrior declaration. Every day in a very true way, I create my reality. As above, so is below. This is what I know. Every day in a very true way, I co-create my reality. As above, so is below. This is what I know. We're awakening the warrior within the creator within, and we are co-creating with love. Today we're co-creating with the cocktail of courage, confidence, gratitude, and faith. Inhale, sweep the arms up, and silently say to yourself, today I take full responsibility for my state of being. Today I take full responsibility for my state of being. Now bring your hands to your third eye and silently say to yourself, today, I'm taking full responsibility for the movies I play in my mind, for the power of my imagination, and today I consciously choose to see my future bright, to see and activate the vision of the future that I want to live into. Bring your hands to your heart and silently say to yourself today, I'm taking full responsibility for my attitude, my state of being, and today, and see how this feels when you say it. Today, I am cultivating and generating courage, confidence, gratitude, and faith. Courage, confidence, gratitude, and faith. Put a smile on your face as you say that. Now bend your knees, extend the arms towards the floor. Right out from the heart, sit nice and low. And silently say to yourself today, I am taking action. Action with intention. Today I'm doing my best. My best is good enough. It's all I can do and it's enough. Okay, now follow me and repeat after me. You're going to go up to forehead, heart, floor. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Really follow your breath. 
So you're training yourself to be present here right now. Inhale as the arms go up and make the breath as strong as you can and the movements as big as you can. And now we say, every day in a very true way, I co-create my reality. You say it. Every day in a very true way, I co-create my reality. Let's do it one more time. Every day. In a very true way, I co-create my reality. Step your feet apart, clap your hands twice above your head and twice below for singles. Two up, two down, straight legs. Bend your knees for singles. You'll notice that every teacher starts their workout this way. As above, so is below. This is what I know, declare it, as above, so is below, this is what I know. Remind yourself that as above in your mind, so is below in your life. This is what you know. From the beginning, every day, in a very true way, I co-create my reality. Feet apart, and as above, so is below, yes, this is what I know. One more time, every day, in a very true way, I co-create my reality. Feet apart and as above, so is below. Yes, this is what I know. Heart, tap, 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 tap the arms, slap the arms, wake up the skin, wake up your brain. Get yourself ready to go. We're getting the cobwebs out. We're waking ourselves up. So I want you to start by shaking it out. Just shaking it out. Now anything that you want to let go, consciously let it go. Is it a worry? Is it a doubt? Is it a fear? You're going to take like 30 seconds and just like you're shaking off cobwebs or shaking off bugs. What do you want to release right now? What do you want to let go of right now? And just think of shaking it out. Right, right now for me, it's a feeling of impatience. I want this to be over. So just shake, shake, shake. Shake your head. Move in a way that you haven't been moving. So your whole body goes, something's happening. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to march as big as you can. Feel your feet on the floor like you have somewhere to go. Let those arms really, really move. So what you're doing is every time you move your body, you move your mind. You're giving a subconscious message to yourself that things are changing, that you're taking action, that you're ready for a change. So what I want you to do is I want you to march and I want you to pick those knees up as high as you can, as high as you can, just as a warm up but as a dedication to yourself, that you see a future that is bright, that you are being the master of your fate and the captain of your soul. Now I want you to put a smile on your face because you get to choose if you put a frown or a smile. So right now, I just want you to smile and pick your knees up as fast as you can. Imagine you're on your way to catch a flight. That door's about to close. You gotta get there, you're going on a vacation and it's an all paid for vacation and your whole family is on that plane and you've gotta get there. You have an intention, you are clear, nobody's gonna get in your way. Now I want you to do a sprint and I want you to move like you have meaning and you are ready to go. Five, four, three, two, go, go, go. Whatever you've got, just warming it up, but move on purpose, with purpose, with passion, because we're energizing not just your body, but your emotions. We're creating an emotional cocktail that's gonna make you unstoppable. We're creating an emotional cocktail that is activating health, wealth, joy, and success. And you've got this power, you're gonna exercise it while those hips. Go, 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 go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Yes, put your arms up in sheer because we start every journey certain of victory. Who's ready? Now clap it out. 
Every time we pop, we energize the hands, the healing power of the hands. And every time you cough, there's something in your brain that says, there must be something good happening. So celebrate. Count down to eight, seven, six, five, four. Our first move in the emotional cocktail today is courage. So here's what the move looks like. We call it brain. You're gonna make this, kick your heel to your butt, and take the arms up. And as the arms go up, the stuff is like, oh, I have to do this. It's an activator. You punch the arms up, you smile, and you're informing your subconscious like things are working out. Things are actually happening. This is like the universal sign for yes, things are great. So you're training yourself to interrupt the stress response. You're training yourself to be in charge of your fate by elevating your state. So courage. Just say the word courage. Courage. Every time your arm comes up, say courage. What? Courage. Think of a time when you had to pull up that courage and it all worked out. And you're like, yeah, I am brave. Whoop. So just say, I am courageous. I've got the courage. Can you handle this? Of course you can. You're building courage. When you build courage, when you're afraid, and you do it anyway. Now we're gonna do the new move. Two double punches, check it out. It's called confidence, confidence. So all I'm gonna ask you to do right now is to move as if you have confidence. That no matter what, you've got this. You're not second guessing yourself. There's an assuredness that you know it's all working out. It's all working out. So you can move and feel powerful. And when your muscles start to talk to you and they start to burn a little bit, you love that feeling because you know things are changing. You know that you're growing. So this move is called confidence. Every move in Intensati has the move of a state of being, the name of a state of being, because we're not just working on the physical body, we're working on our energetic vibration, our energy signature. You have an energy signature that's the result of the habits of your thoughts, the habits of your words. You have an energy signature. I'm gonna help you upgrade that energy signature. Let's go for another 30 seconds. Just say confidence, 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 confidence. Just say the word, confidence. Say it loud, confidence. Name it, confidence. Say it, confidence. Feel it. Act as if, just act as if. Just let it happen. Just call it up. You've got that power to choose. Come on, nobody stop. Stay with me. Now we're gonna go back to the move called brave. Arms up, four, three, two, double punch, do your best. Brave, arms up, four, three, two, one, double punch. Say courage, say confidence. So I'll say it and you say it. Courage, confidence. Remember, that's so good. 
Arms out to the side. Keep it super straight. Yes, we're opening up the heart. The power of activating positive emotions. Smile. What else are you grateful for? I'm grateful for you. I really am. We're bringing this loving awareness, this loving attention to ourselves as a community. And it's really making us stronger. Eight more. Say, I am grateful today. I am grateful today. I choose to be grateful today. I'm practicing being grateful today. Come on. Remind yourself. Now we're going to do a move called faith. Check this out. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. We all have faith. But we either have faith in our fear or faith in love. We either have faith that it's not going to work out or we have faith that it is going to work out. But I want to remind you that it's a choice. That it's a choice. Go, go, go. Say faith over fear. Woo, faith over fear. Tell yourself you choose faith over fear. Remind yourself to choose faith over fear. You can make this choice. You might have to make it a million times in one day. But the more you choose it, the more you interrupt the stress response, the more powerful you feel. Stay with me. We're going to do gratitude and faith. Eight counts of each. Arms out to the side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Faith. Go. Gratitude makes you smile. Makes you smile. Faith. Gratitude. Faith. I hope your heart is beating strong. I hope your muscles are waking up. Come on, do it with me. Let's do all four moves. Brace, single arm up, four, three. Double punch, right and left. Confidence is big this move. Arms out to the side, it's gratitude. Yes. Up, up, down, down, it's faith. We do eight of everything. Courage, arms up, brave. Confidence, double punch. Gratitude, arms out to the side. Give it to me about level five. Up, up, down, down. Brave, arms up. Confidence. Gratitude, arms out to the side. Keep moving. You're just getting the moves in alignment. Now we're gonna give it a push. Arms up, brave. Double punch. Confidence. Yes, yes. Gratitude. Now your head, yes. And faith. We're creating our emotional cocktail. Courage, you have the courage. Double punch, I have the confidence. Gratitude, I am grateful. Up, up, down, down, I have faith. I have the courage. I have the confidence. Grateful, I am grateful. Woo woo, faith, I have faith. Courage, courage. Just say it, confidence. Just act as if, just act as if, gratitude. Something powerful happens, up, up, down, down. When you change your physiology, you change everything. When you change how you move, you change your mind. Gratitude, and that's what I wanna teach you, to exercise that power, faith, up and down. Let's do eight of each, repeat after me. I have the courage, double punch. I have the confidence, gratitude, I have the gratitude, up, up, down, down, I have the faith, courage, I have the courage, oh yes, double punch, confidence, I have the confidence, make sure you say it, gratitude, the world sits at the tip of your tongue, faith, up, up, down, use your voice, I have the courage, confidence, I have the confidence, I have the gratitude, faith, I have the faith, yes, feet together, arms circle, 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 so when you're scared, when you're not feeling faith, but you're feeling fear, you shrink, we start to narrow our focus, we only see obstacles, this movement 
is to help you open up your perception and your perspective of reality, to train your brain to look for what's right, to look for what you can do, not letting what you cannot do stop you from doing what you can do. We're gonna go a push right now, and I'm gonna ask you to take to a level 10 for 10 seconds. So lower body can be like a jumping jack, it can be a leg up, it can be a jump. 10 seconds, go, 10, go, all out, all out. Let that heart stretch, fill your lungs, push, come on, you're growing, you're growing. Four, three, take your arms up to a victory sign, victory, say yes, 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 say good job, good job, we're gonna do it again. And this is what I want you to repeat, I am the captain of my soul. I am the captain of my soul. That means I generate love, I generate confidence, I generate the powerful positive emotions that have my soul shine. I am the captain of my soul, declare it. Here we go, as big as you can. As big as you can. Training your lungs, training your heart, getting your body as your best line of defense to illness taking charge of your mind, not letting other people take the charge of your mind. Keep going as big as you can, get as big as you can, and say, I am the captain of my soul. Captain of my soul, I am the captain of my soul. Go, 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 go. Smile, push, push. Yes, don't give up, go, 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 go. Hit it, keep going. Whoop, whoop. Four, three, two, high five, yes, feel your breath, feel your power, feel your energy, stretching your lungs, activating your heart, declare again, I am the captain of my soul, you're going to do master of my fate, all you're going to do is a victory, but we're going to pump it, it's called great, looks like this, this is like a universal sign for victory, even people that are blind, do this sign for victory. So it tells your subconscious that you've already won. What you're doing is you're cultivating the experience of success at the beginning of the journey. You're thinking from success, not about success. You're thinking from a state of victory, not about a state of victory. That's how you become the master of your fate. Now I'm gonna ask you to give me a sprint. Go. Go, go. Now what it's called for you to do here is to push. The call is to push, to get out of your comfort zone. The call is to grow here. The call is to show up. Feel your breath, feel your power. Four, three, two, stop. Take a sip of water. Take a sip of water because we're gonna do it again. We want that heart rate to come down. Pain is a great motivator. So we're either gonna have the pain of growth or the pain of staying the same. If we don't manage our if we don't manage our mind, then we let other people manage our mind. The best defense against negativity is positivity. And we can generate it. We gotta feel confident before we get the job. We've gotta feel well before our body heals. We've got to feel grateful before we get what we want to be grateful for. This is the big secret. So we're going to do it again. We're going to do a victory run for 30 seconds. And I want you just to push. I want you to feel what it feels like to be a stand for your growth and your development. 30 seconds. Get out of your comfort zone. Ready? Go. Knees as high as you can. Arms in a victory cheer, your face elevated and happy. You can even cheer, go woohoo! Go yes, 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 yes. Your subconscious mind is going, what's going on? Just say yes, 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 cheer! Woohoo! Cheer, celebrate. You're activating all of your cells. Your subconscious is going, wow, something good is happening up there. Now we're gonna do the two moves, happy, and then we're gonna do victory. 
And repeat after me. Remember, your word is your wand. If you're in a spell of fear, you break the spell with your own word. You use words of power. Use words of confidence. Use words of courage. It breaks the spell of fear. You know what I'm saying? But it requires practice. At first, it might feel awkward. You just keep doing it. Here we go. So clap it out. This is what we're gonna say. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Say, I am the captain of my soul. Say, I am the master of my fate. Come on. I am the captain of my soul. That means I generate positive emotion. I am the master of my fate. Let's do it. Eight counts. Eight, seven, six, five. Now sprint and victory. Victory. Victory comes. I am the captain of my soul, baby. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Not CNN, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Not a virus. I'm the master of my fate. Come on, your state determines your fate. Give a push, give a push. One more, I am the captain of my soul. Victory, I am the master of my fate. Now do this with me, check it out. Go, whoa, yes, whoa, yes, whoa, yes, whoa. You don't need for something to change for you to celebrate. You celebrate and then something will change. You feel gratitude and then you'll have more to be grateful for. Let's do it again. Courage, confidence, gratitude, faith. Captain of my soul, master of my fate. Follow along. Single arm up. Give it to me at about a level five. Double punch. Arms out to the side, gratitude. Smile, smile. Up, up, down, down, punches. Hold faith. Circle. Happy is the name of the move. Victory. Courage. I have the courage. Double punch, confidence, I have the confidence. Arms out to the side, I have gratitude. Up, up, down, down, I have faith. Circle the arms, I am the captain of this, my soul. Victory, I am the master of my fate. Brave, I have the courage. Double punch, I have the confidence. Say it loud, I have gratitude. Punches up, up, down, I have faith. Circle the arms, I am the captain of my soul. Victory, I am the master of my faith. I have the courage. Double punch, I have the confidence. Arms up, I have gratitude. Arms up, up, down, I have faith. Circle the arms, captain of my soul. Victory. Master of my fate. One more time. Courage. Double punch. Confidence. Arms out to the side. Gratitude. Up, up, down. Faith. Circle. Captain of my soul. And master of my fate. Playful out. Check this out. Go. Fast. Go. Go, 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 all out. Come on, go, we're almost done. High five, woo! How are you feeling? How are you feeling? I want you to tune in and check in. How are you feeling? Activated. I hope you feel activated. I want you to know that no matter what circumstances, no matter what's going on outside of you, you have control over what goes on inside of you. You have the remote control. You can change your state by thought alone. We can make ourselves sick by thought alone. We can make ourselves well by thought alone. How about that? We know that to be true because we know about the placebo effect. We know about that. We know that people can make themselves sick just by focusing on what could go wrong, on what's not right, 
on how hard life is. But not us, my friends. We're not falling into that trap. We're waking up out of the spell. I know you can't see me, but I'm just trying to change them here. We're waking up out of the spell. We're breaking the spell of the illusion that something is wrong. There's nothing wrong. Stay with me. Okay, I wanna do one more push. Are you willing? So this push is your choice, your choice. You could do abs, you could do a plank pose, you could do push-ups. I'm gonna do squats because then you can see me. I'm gonna do squats. But whatever you choose, you do for one minute. You do for one full minute. That means if in 30 seconds you can't keep going, you take a little break and you come back. It doesn't matter how many times you have to stop and start, you do it for one full minute, but you dig. And here's what I heard, is when you think you're ready to stop, that's 40%. You're only 40% through. And that's what I want you to feel is, accept the sensations of the burning, of the being out of breath. Don't label that bad, don't label that wrong. Accept it, love it, allow it to be there, and then just give your best. Here we go, here we go. Pick what you're gonna do. So I'm gonna do squats, just so you can see me. But you can do push-ups, but the key is one exercise. Don't change exercises. One exercise, one exercise. So if you're doing squats with me, make sure your hips go back. When I say go, you go. Don't go yet. I'm gonna count the minute from my time when I say go. Just get into place and make a commitment. I don't negotiate my dreams. I go all out for what I want. Here we go. Go. Drop. 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 As low as you can. I don't give up. I'm in it to win it. I don't negotiate my dreams. There is no thought, there is no thing that will help me give up on what's important to me. I am never giving up. I am never giving up. I am never giving up. You can make it a big of a jump. If you're with me in the squats, try to make it a bit of a jump. But you're fighting for it. You're building that courage. You're building that strength. You're putting in the effort. Come on. This is the change. This is the change. It's happening. Go as big as you can. Feel yourself getting stronger. Just be a yes. A yes to the whole thing. Come on. Almost there. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Well done. How'd that feel? Woo! Give yourself some love. We're gonna bring it on down. Bring it on down. Hang in there. Okay. We're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna stretch a little bit. But here's what I want you to remember. You either have the pain of staying the same or the pain of change. But pain is a great evolutionary driver because most of us want to sit on our couch. Most of us want the world to change so we don't have to. This is a gift that we're being given right now because we're being called. We're stuck in our homes and we're gonna to have to deal with ourselves. And we may be eating chips in the shower, hiding under the covers and watching Netflix for a few days. But at some point, we're going to have to shake it off and get to, get to do some real work. So I invite you to start that now. And as a community, we're going to do it together, generating powerful, positive emotions. So what I want you to do is take your hands, interlace them behind your back, open up the chest, press down into your tailbone, squeeze your feet together, and vibrate your heart forward. Feel your heart forward. So your heart is leading the way. And imagine a beam of light coming from your heart out into the world. And think of all the people that are just like you, just like you, in their homes, worried about the future, just like you. I'm just like you. Home with my kids, wondering how long this is gonna be. I'm just like you and there's millions of us today, all dealing with the same fear. When will it end? Will I make it? Will I have enough financial 
means to get through the other side? What will my life be like when this is over? And there's one thing that I can tell you for sure, is we don't have the answer to that. We have to surrender. But we can accept where we are. And we can bring love and compassion to each other right now. Because we're all dealing with the same uncertainty and the same fears. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about all the people around the world right now that are just like you. And I want you to think of what emotional cocktail would you like to be drinking today? Is it more faith? Is it less fear? And I want you to imagine pouring that, that energy to people all over the world, giving what you want to receive and say an affirmation that fits that. So I would say, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna come out stronger because of this. What would you say? Bring your hands to your heart. Send a message to everybody, to everybody from your heart. What you wish for yourself, wish it for everybody right now. My wish for you is that you find your courage to show up to life one day at a time. And the confidence that you know you've overcome hard things before and you become stronger for it. What superpower are you not using? <clears throat> what talent are you not using today? Use it, cultivate it, and gratitude. What can you feel gratitude for right now? And faith, the faith that after evening always comes morning, after winter is always a new season. Summer is always coming. And nothing ever stays the same. So I want you to generate the power that you have to exercise and change your state, be the captain of your soul and the master of your fate. So just end. Rub your hands together, clap three times to energize your hands, send love to everybody that's on this live, everybody in the world that is dealing with the same uncertainty that we all are, and know that we matter. We don't want to be in the pool of fear and stress. We want to create the stronger pool of love and confidence and power. And we matter, each one of us matters. Our state of mind is part of the collective. So say, I am the master of my, I am the captain of the soul, I am the master of my fate. Today I choose to self-generate. And then bring your hands and decide what are you gonna self-generate today. Well done. Remember, you move your body, you move your mind. We can self-generate powerful, positive emotions. We don't need alcohol or smoking or drinking whatever, if you do those things, but don't use those as a tool to give you your confidence. Use your own power of your mind and your words to build your confidence from the inside out. That's what we commit to as this community. Your word is your wand. What you think about, you bring about. So come back every day at 12 o'clock, re-energize yourself, power yourself up. Be the leader in your community that's gonna be the one that's gonna bring the courage, the confidence, the gratitude, and the faith. It's up to us. There's a lot of pull for terror right now. There's a lot of pull for fear, and it's justified, but we wanna not be part of that. We wanna be a part of the faith that things are working out for the best for all. I'm in it to win it with you, and together as a community, we can make big changes in this world. So join me because at 3.33 Eastern Standard Time on my Facebook Live page, we're gonna take 10 minutes every day just to plug into a powerful, positive state. I'm gonna lead you through a practice. I'm not gonna be talking. I'm not gonna be selling anything. I'm not gonna to try to convince you of anything. I'm gonna give you an experience of your power and how you can generate your state, regardless of your circumstances. So I hope to see you there. Thank you for working out with me. And we're gonna be here with you every single day. So come back. I can't wait to see you next time.